Hello everyone, we're live. Welcome to the 1 p.m. prayer. Welcome to the month of May. And the month of May is our month of focus, is the month of grace. It's a month of grace and it's the month of focus. Welcome to the month of May. It's a month of focus and it is the month of grace. It's the month of focus. It is the month of grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I wanted to declare over yourself as I step into the month of May in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I step into focus. I've stepped into another dimension of grace. I've stepped into focus. I've stepped into another dimension of grace in the name of Jesus Christ. As I step into the month of May, I've stepped into deep focus and I've stepped into another dimension of grace in Jesus' mighty name. The month of May is the month, oh glory to God. The month of May is the month of focus and it's the month of grace. We're going to start from a place of thanksgiving. We're going to start from a place of thanksgiving. The Bible says this. I want to read, we read a powerful scripture this morning that was life-changing. This is the first time the scripture hits me with that kind of impact. And please, if you are just joining, you can type on in the comment section, the, the month of May is my month of focus and grace. There's something about when you say it. There's something about when you type it. There's something about when you say it. There's something about when you type it. The month of focus is my month of is the month of May is my month of grace and focus in Jesus' mighty name. I want to read for to you from Je Genesis chapter 48 and verse 15. This was something we prayed about this morning. Now you need to go back to next level prayer this morning. It was very, very powerful. Genesis chapter 48, verse 15. The Bible says says, and this is when Jacob was blessing the sons of Joseph. He said, And God blessed Jacob and said, you know and said god before whom my father abraham and i did walk the god which fed me all my life long until this day jacob said the god that took care of me all my life long till this day it's a prayer of thanksgiving father thank you for being there for me all my life long from the time when i was in my mother's womb up till now you've been there all my life long until today i want you to bless his holy name i want you to give him praise father thank you for being there for me all my life long ah lima kenes kopale eniko manante skuli brago taneke skuvaratia father thank you for being there all my life long from the time i was conceived up to today, I look into my past and I see the hand of the Lord. Jacob said, what did Jacob say? He said, the Lord that has fed me all my life. Father, in Jesus' mighty name, I give you the praise and I give you the glory. I give you the praise and I give you the glory. I, I say the exact words of Jacob that you've been there all my life. Father, I give you the praise. I give you the glory. Father, I give you the praise. I give you the glory. Father, I want to thank you for the month of January. I want to thank you for the month of March. I want to thank you for the month of of, of, of February. I want to thank you for April. Now I am in the month of May. I am grateful. I am grateful. I am grateful. You have shown me your kindness. You have shown me your mercy. You have opened doors for me. Thank you for testimonies. Thank you for NLP community. Thank you for what you have done for individuals. Thank you, Lord. Because all manners of marital delays have been broken. Married people that have been delayed are now getting married. Pregnant people at that barrier and are pregnant. Thank you for financial breakthrough. Thank you for material breakthrough. Thank you for career breakthrough. Thank you for approval. So God, thank you for what you're doing in Nigeria, in the US, all over Africa. Thank you for what you're doing in Zimbabwe, in the UK, in the whole of Europe. Thank you for your mighty hand in the Middle East, in Australia, for in Canada, in Toronto. We bless and bless your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. This is the next thing I want to thank God for today. Today, you know, just before we pray, we want to take some minutes, and we're praying already, actually, just to thank God. Father, thank you for the progress I've made. Thank you for the skills I have. Thank you for the intelligence that you have given me. The Bible says, it's not of him that will it. Neither is him of him that run it. It's God that showeth mercy. Father, thank you for the skill, the skill, the skill, the skill. Thank you for the progress I've made. Someone can write in the comment section, Lord, thank you for the progress that I've made. Thank you for the skill you've given me. Thank you for the intelligence you've given me. Let's go ahead and bless his holy name. Legima Katolos, Kelema Dakati, 
Telasco. Father, in Jesus' name, I'm thanking you for the progress I've made. In Jesus' name, Lord, I'm thanking you for the progress I've made. I'm thanking you for the skill, for the skill I have. Lord, in Jesus' name, I'm thanking you for the progress I've made. I thank you for the progress, the skill, oh God, the progress I've made. I'm not where I used to be. Lord, I'm not where I used to be. I'm not where I used to be spiritually. I'm not where I used to be emotionally, mentally, financially, economically. I'm not where I used to be. I have made progress. Lord, I am grateful. Father, thank you in the name of Lord Jesus. Lord, I am grateful. Thank you for the progress I have made. Lord, thank you for the progress. Thank you for the skill I have. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Today, today we want to really zero in. The Lord has, you know, the Lord has spoken to us. And this month is a month of focus and it's a month of grace. And we want to take that prayer very seriously. We want to take that prayer very seriously. And this is one of the things you want to pray for. It's a very powerful prayer. We want to pray for this today. Oh, yes. You're going to pray, Father. Help me understand my seasons. Uh, help me understand and maximize my season. I don't want to be doing, I want to be very focused. Lord, help me understand and, magni- and ma- maximize my season. Let's go ahead and pray. Lord, help me understand. Lord, help me magnify my season. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I want you to go ahead and pray. The Bible says the sons of Isiaka, they have understanding of their season. Lord, I am fasting. Help me understand my season. Show me what to focus on. Show me what not to focus on. Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord, help me understand my season. Lord, show me what to focus on. Show me what not to focus on. I'm praying today that you will help me understand my season, oh God. You will teach me on how to magnify my season, oh God. You will show me what to focus on. You will show me what not to focus on. Lord, you will sharpen my discernment pray lord sharpen my discernment 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 oh lord teach me what to focus on teach me what not to focus on lord sharpen my discernment by the power of the holy ghost in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, sharpen. I wanted to type in the comment section. Father, sharpen my discernment. Father, sharpen my discernment. Father, sharpen my discernment. Lord, sharpen my discernment. I wanted to write that in the comment section. Lord, sharpen my discernment. Help me know what to focus on in this season. Help me know what not to focus on. Oh God, I don't want to put effort into what will not work. Sharpen my discernment. Oh God, sharpen it. Oh God, in my spiritual life, sharpen my discernment. In my business, sharpen my discernment in my finance sharpen my discernment in my decision making father sharpen my discernment this is a new month like sharpen my discernment oh god father sharpen my discernment in jesus name we're praying in jesus name we're praying second corinthians chapter one our glory to god lord sharpen my discernment father sharpen my discernment lord sharpen my discernment father sharpen my discernment lord sharpen my discernment in jesus name second corinthians chapter 1 in verse 24 second corinthians chapter 1 one of the things you want to do i will pray is this this is one of the things to do be very clear about what you are asking the Lord for. Be very clear about what you're asking the Lord for. One of the things we're praying for today is the next level prayer conference in the UK. We're praying that there will be 3,000 miracles, that everyone that is maritally delayed that attends that conference, next level prayer conference UK, that the yoke of marital delay will be broken. Impossible immigration cases will be resolved. We're praying for people that are trying to get approvals, are trying to switch jobs. We're praying for career breakthrough, people that have suffered depression. As they step into that meeting, the yoke will be destroyed. Let's pray together. And Father, in Jesus' name, we're praying for 
NLP Conference in UK. We're praying that everyone that is marital delayed, that everyone that the marriage is shaking, as soon as they attend the conference, the power of God will destroy that yoke in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Impossible, impossible approval cases, immigration cases, the power of God will open the door for them. I'm praying that every kind of sickness from cancer to eye problem to autism, sickness, barrenness, as they attend that conference, the power of God will be made available. We trust you for 3,000 miracles. You did it in one press. You did it in NLP battle, you will do it again in Wembley and July the 1st in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And just to let you know, if you have not registered for NLP conference July the 1st, you need to get to her register quickly. The registration is in my bio. Hallelujah. This is the next prayer and this is the final prayer. Final prayer. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 in verse 24. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 in verse 24. And if you know anyone that needs to be there that lives in London, send them the link. Let them be there. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 24. This is what Apostle Paul said. He said, not that we have all glory to God. I just feel, listen to me, I just feel in my spirit we have to do this together. Everyone, we're going to say this three times. This month, grace, 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 this is my story. And I wanted to write in the comment section. I wanted to write it in the comment section. Are you ready, everyone? Lift up your I wanted to write with me and say with you. Say with me, say this month, say this month of May. Grace, 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 this is my story. Say it one more time. This month of May, grace, 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 this is my story. This month of May, grace, 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 this is my story. I prophesy, I prophesy to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that this month you will experience ease. Ah, lima korapate lekushala mataya. Everyone write in the comment section, this month, grace, grace, grace is my story. I prophesy, I prophesy to you that you will experience ease. The things that have been difficult for you to achieve, the things that have been difficult to attain, the things that have been difficult to let go of, the grace of God that changes story, the grace of God that changes trajectory is coming upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. It's coming upon your desires in the name of Jesus Christ. This month, five is the number of grace. I'm declaring over you experience ease. I said experience ease. Experience grace. I said experience ease. I said this month of May. Experience grace. I said experience ease in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Experience grace. Experience ease in the name of Jesus. What was tough for you to achieve? Grace will make it easy. I said what was difficult and impossible. Experience ease in that area. Every word that God has spoken to you, let them begin to pop into manifestation. Let them begin to happen. I said this month carry testimonies. I said carry testimonies. I said carry testimonies. I said carry testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Oh glory to God. This month I experience ease. This month I experience ease. I experience focus. I experience grace. Just as we declared in the morning, in the name of Jesus Christ, the book of remembrance has been opened for you in Jesus' mighty name. I'm declaring over you that the book of remembrance has been opened concerning you. Anywhere you have applied, anywhere you have labored, anywhere you have Anywhere you have, anywhere you have labored, anywhere you're expecting funding from, the book of remembrance has been opened concerning you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and the Lord remembered Anna, and the Lord remembered Rachel, and the Lord remembered Noah. I said, the Lord has remembered you. The book of remembrance has opened concerning you. The lady that, the person that has a leg problem, the Lord is healing you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. That lady that has been depressed over marriage in the UK, the Lord is touching you and giving you a miracle. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That business man in Abuja, are you believing God for this huge expansion? Receive it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Experience is, I say, I'm prophesying to someone that can receive it. Uh, type in the comment section, I receive it. Uh, experience is in Jesus' name. Experience is uh, 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 shout and type, I receive it. I receive it. Glory to God. I experience ease. 
The last prayer is from 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 24. It said, For not that we have dominion over you. It says, Not that we have dominion over your faith, but are helpers of your joy. Paul says, We are helpers of your joy, for by faith you stand. Oh my God. It, Paul introduces this concept of people that are helpers of joy. And it's a simple prayer we want to pray today that this month, Anywhere the helpers of your joy are, that by the power of the Holy Ghost, they are released. They are released. They are released. I wanted to prophesy over yourself uh, that they help us of my joy. I don't know where you want to see or find joy. Maybe it's your business. Maybe it's your health. I'm praying. Maybe it's an approvalation. That they help us of your joy. They are released. In the name of Jesus Christ. They help us of your joy. They are released in Jesus mighty name I want to begin to declare declare it over yourself they help us of my joy are released in Jesus name by divine arrangement they help us of your joy are released in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ they help us of your joy they are released either it pertains to your career it pertains to your business the helpers of your joy are released right now. Receive it, receive it. Kaya shaliki paramana katala brakataya elegoshka vale krote brataya. The helpers of your joy in the Jesus name. I declare that they are released. Le kruste krade monon krata manakaya aparoshanta la barata na matakata. Help me type in the comment section. The helpers of my joy have been released right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now in Jesus. Mighty name, the helpers of my joy have been released. They Is it, do you have sound now? Do you have sound now? Do you have sound now? Oh, wow. Okay, it's back on. Okay, praise God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that the, the sound went off. And I'm sorry I didn't notice on time. I was carried away by the prayers. Okay, just, just as we're, we're closing, just remember that July the 1st, we're gathering in... Did you hear my declaration about the month of May? I will go ahead and say it again. You know, listen to me. The Lord said this is our month of grace and focus. And one of the things I'm speaking about to you this month is that there will be ease. There will be ease. There will be ease in the name of Jesus Christ. There will be ease for you. What was hard, what was difficult, grace has made it easy for you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. There will be ears. There will be ears. There will be ears. What you struggle to achieve, what was not working, the grace of God will bring you ears in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
I pray for you today. I'm praying. I'm praying for you. There will be ease by the power of God. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, 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 amen. I, I saw a lady, I said it earlier on. I'm not sure if that was when the sun was off. You were in the UK. You're very depressed about, about you're very depressed about marriage and the Lord is giving you a breakthrough. There's a businessman, someone in Abuja that is watching and you're believing for some kind of a, is an appointment or maybe some kind of um, contract and the Lord has heard you in Jesus' mighty name. There will be ears. Amen. July the 1st, we are in London for the Next Level Prayer Conference London. Someone say I would love to attend. Yes, because we're using a venue that is not within our control, it's important for you to register. It's in, how do you register? The link is on my bar. But the second thing is this. You know, and, and I need some of our leaders to help me that. We're asking for partners. We are asking for partners. We need people to partner with us. If the Lord puts it on your heart to want to be part of people that will make next level prayer conference happen, it's a huge budget. Normally, people pray for shows in Wembley, but because we're saying it's free, Wembley is charging us, you know, we have to pay the Wembley fee for this. So if you want to be a partner, please there is a phone number, there is an email address that's going to pop up and uh, you know, it's going to be, it's, some of them will be on my bio, some of them will be in the, send us an email, we're having the partners meeting in about in a, week's, in a week's time. I would love you to partner with me, I would love you to partner with what God is doing at Next Level Conference in the UK. If you need to partner, send me and for the partners, one of the things we're doing is that as the ticket that been released, all partners get priority seating. No matter what it is, all the partners get a seat. Tomorrow, we continue our prayers by 2 p.m. I'm sorry, to, to, we're we'll continuing our prayers in the morning. If you didn't watch Next Level today, go, on, go ahead and watch it. Go ahead and watch it. If you're dealing with self-doubt, you need to watch the service yesterday. It's on YouTube. And if you're believing for some kind of intervention, supernatural about your finances, the services yesterday will help you as my friend, Pastor Jeff, also ministered. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Pastor Dio has been kind enough to help us post. I've been able to pin the comment here. If you want to partner, that is the phone number. Um, I think it's a UK phone number. So if it's out in Nigeria, plus 44, send an email. Let me know that you want to partner with the Next Level Prayer Conference in the UK. I'm glad because you have the opportunity to be a partner of something that will change the trajectory of the UK forever. Thank you. God bless you. And I'm glad because I get to pray for the partners and let God move in a supernatural way. Thank you. God bless you. I hope today blessed you. Tomorrow we gather. We're fasting again. Everyone that has experienced some kind of delay, marital delay, financial delay, join us tomorrow. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm just leaving the details on, on the screen. You can screenshot it if you want to send an email to be a partner. All of you, I want you to become a partner. The phone number is there. The email is there. Screenshot it. When you, when you sign up to become a partner, I'm going to invite you for a private meeting with me in Zoom in a week plus time. So make sure that you send a text, make sure you send a WhatsApp message, make sure you send an email today, anywhere you are in the world. Thank you. God bless you and have a beautiful day. If you've not registered for Next Level Prayer Conference in the UK, go ahead and register today. The seats are almost gone. I want to be a part of it.